How are you? My poems are typed. You got it? Who's going to read them? Sit down. Would you read? Go, will go. You look better. Ah. You know, once we should appreciate them and then do it, right? It won't be a long exercise, only nine more minutes. Don't worry about it. If you can stand those, it will be fun. Oh, birthday. Who's? <laughs> Hey, cookies! You will get cookies. <laughs> then I should not eat this. Anyway. Does the order matter? Hmm? The order in which you read doesn't matter? I was trying to cheat, now I'm very honorable. I share. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this morning, I wrote these five poems. It has nothing to do with me. I have to complete 108 caricatures. They are real. They are human. They are the pain of the unconscious. The book I'm going to print is I'm going to call Renaissance. So, it is about America, American people. <laughs> An uncle's visit or a grave memory. I remember I could see how it was to be as I am now. I was a little dancing girl with curly hair, and many like me are pearls of life. A comfortable, cozy house and loving parents. It was school, stress, homework, and friends. It was constant growth with no end. I grew up and now I am 16, celebrating young and lo, what I see. In this feast at my home, where I grew up in security, with radiant youth and beauty, came an uncle whom I knew. And I do not know what he represents. He sat in front of me and looked through the cover of his eyes. He was measuring my earth and sky. He sat near me, his scent had a passion. It had no fatherly compassion. This old wolf looked like a ram. He was confused. It made me shiver. He was afraid. I tried to understand. He opened up the bottom of his double-breasted coat. He looked like a hungry wolf. Then he moved around, buttoned up his coat again, as a cheetah was leaping for an antelope. It was my party. There was no corner I could hide. But I knew also if he did not disappear, I would have no choice but to abide. This rich uncle was catered and flattered, and I was miserable and battered in my own house at my own 16th party. He raped my psyche. There was nobody I could speak to. There was nothing I could say, but my mother knew it. For weeks and weeks after, I was pale, and my father noticed. There were no smiles. They could not stop talking about this wonderful uncle who was a wolf who took away the security dignity and the delight of the house and raped my psyche. There is no compensation. Now I am 60 years old. I have seen many moons, tested many weathers, gone through many twisters, appreciation, and cares. I am very loved, prominently established, a socialite, elite, and successful and very bright. But still the visit of this uncle brings me shivers and grief, and I wonder, will it ever end? I may have to take it to the grave. Perhaps that may save me and my psyche from the memory of this rape. It is serious. My love from centuries before or lightning of the soul. I am in a hurry. I must get my groceries home fast so I can make the dinner to prepare a welcoming home and shape myself to be very desirable tonight. 
As I was walking through the crowded streets, some shoulder rubbed me. Sorry, sorry. We looked straight into each other's eyes. I came home, started chopping the vegetables, boiling the water for spaghetti, and with my fingers was tasting the sauce. But that rub, the strength of those muscles, the depth of the eyes, like a lightning of the soul, was such a feeling, I asked myself, am I awake or am I asleep? Was it real? Who was he? An angel? A man from the distant stars? Why didn't I stop and hug him? I wanted to touch him so badly as I met my love from centuries before. I went into my hypnosis, saw this muscular body rob robed so well, the brightness and light bewitching and inviting, passionate and sensual. I reached for it and suddenly woke up. I was still chopping the vegetables and waiting for the arrival of my husband, who is lean and kind but has no muscles. I laughed and smiled. I am in control. I have a man. I feel beautiful and proud, but the rub of that shoulder haunts me and taunts me. I miss it. <laughs> Tears of love. Early morning, I stretch my body, remembering the kisses and the infection and the affection of last night. <laughs> <laughs> Read it again. Don't be fast. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Tears of love. Early morning, I stretch my body, remembering the kisses and the affection of last night, and parting goodbyes and bye byes. I stretch myself and start crawling like a grass snake through the cement floor leaving carpets behind of the wall-to-wall -wall rooms. I walked into my open yard, and I started going round and round on the green grass. It was wet with the morning dew. The air was brisk. I was tired of doing this, and then I saw what an entangled world of love the grass is, each blade kissing another blade, and so intertwined and so affectionate. They have the tears of love, which is called the morning dew. Hair dreams or a happy rejoicing dream. I was sitting before a mirror. I remember I was combing my hair, styling it, playing with it, twisting it around like a child who sits on the beach and builds a castle. Sometimes it is comfortable, sometimes it is a hassle, but it is all my hair. A strong decision maker, I am a successful executive officer, directing many people, demanding, obliging, cursing but I cannot manage my own hair and its style. <laughs> now I am starting to comb it, layering it, and trying to create a design. I am feeling passionate, and even very passionate, but I am mad. They are not long enough, and each time my comb has to start from the beginning again. I wish they should be so long and endless as a happy rejoicing dream. Triple taste cone. My sweet tooth started calling, and my mouth was wet with saliva. It was oozing and tasted sweet. Automatically, I started towards the deli. I walked in the door, and then I saw ocean view eyes. Ocean view. I walked in the door, and then I saw ocean blue eyes, fixed, gazing at me. Golden shabby hair, moderate and middle-aged with the passion of an 18-year-old and a philosopher with the looks of an 80-year-old. Hypnotically, I stopped, and I looked and looked and looked. Then my saliva reminded me that I wanted some ice cream. I asked, I asked for the triple-taste cone, and uncontrolled, I was wrapped and walked to his table without uttering a word of saying hello or asking permission. I sat as a mellow person and started licking the ice cream cone. Suddenly I realized what I was doing, and what he saw established something that both of us could not speak of. Finally I gave him my remaining ice cream, which he started licking. I left the deli. I am still wondering why it happened, but the memory of it makes me feel very sweet. Since then I have lost my taste for sweets. I have never licked an ice cream cone again but I am all the time rich with this memory. 
After my death, I go to the heavens. I do not have to eat anything. I will be rich, tasting the aroma and the sweetness, and if I go to hell, I won't feel cursed. I will be extremely satisfied with this darling sweetness, which is equal to many kisses, many entanglements, and tons of passion I enjoy here and hereafter. Thank you. You know, people know, know me as His Holiness, Sri Singh Sahib, Pai Sahib, Pajan Singh Khalsa, Yogi Ji, PhD, ba ba ba. And I have more titles than I can afraid, but this part of observing a human in their unconscious, which is the most motivating force, is not the science people know. Behind you, there's a one unconscious you. Because conscious you holds the unconscious you. And that's the balance. When this balance will break, your body will fall and you will be declared dead. Prana moon moon. That's the law of the universe. So basically, <coughs> I'm picking up 25 years in the United States as I saw people, not as they were as they saw themselves. So I'm just narrating one subconscious story of someone thought. Nothing personal, but everybody somewhere is in some line and nobody can deny it. So I'm going to keep it human with a little humor. Let the girl No, a, she's a full-fledged woman. Because you must understand, all there is a thought. God is a thought. A relationship is a thought. And each thought has many lives. So when thought is not achieved, experienced, understood, then it goes to the subconscious, then into unconscious, and then come into the conscious. Had that philosophy and the cycle not existed in a human, every human would have been more powerful than any angel. Because the duality of angel and devil is right in us. Neither we can be angels nor we can be devil. We have to be human. That's the curse or the blessing. Call it the way you want it. Nobody can escape it. That's what Nanak said. Karmi apu apani ke nere ke du. Your action will decide. You are near yourself or you far away yourself. You have certain situation which can kill you. Can I do it? Done. You are done. You killed yourself. It may not happen. You have lost yourself. Is it possible? You have took away your courage. I don't know you had denied yourself, etc., etc., etc. Because the power of the word is all there is, and existence of the thought, what well, art can be between those two. You want to enjoy your happiness. Let us see tonight how you fear yourself. All right? Tonight we will work in the mano control. <coughs> mano control is a self style in which human courage can come over one own imaginative disability. Because every disability is imaginative, as every achievement is an experience. So, folks, you will be surprised. Come on, let's do it. <laughs> Sit calmly and quietly and very passionately, as straight and balanced you can be, and very light. There's nothing to over-exercise yourself in the sense. And you see what I'm going to do? Now, this is five tattvas. This is Jupiter. 
in you this is the antenna of Jupiter, this is the antenna of Saturn, this is the antenna of Sun, and this is the antenna of Mercury. And this is your head, your Mars is right here, your Venus is right here, your Moon is right here, and so forth and so on. And that's all you are. And all those meridians are in your hand. And these are all uh, injectable to yourself are projectable from yourself. That, that I want to let you know. And see what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it because I do certain things which I know how to do. And you, if you just copy me, you'll have fun. All right? Open your mouth. And you see this breath? Dog breath. Dog, dog do that. Dog breath. You don't have to he go to a healer tonight. You will heal yourself. <laughs> Tip of the nose. <laughs> That's why dog never gets sick. <laughs> Fast. And powerful. This is powerful. This is just fourth force. If you have a cancer, do it. See what happens to you. Power. Use the power. Here there are power. There's not no power outside. It is all be lunatic about it. Pull the fingers in with a force. That's all. And breathe. That's all. And keep that mouth like O. When you are in a hospital and you are miserable, that's it, become O. And when you are further miserable, you become Q. Your tongue comes out, remember? So it is only O. Go, 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 hey, look at the watch. Don't get tired out. Do it. It's very sexual. Trust me. <laughs> the difficult part is that O. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Now inhale and tighten the grip and squeeze. Squeeze. Make like your body like a steel. Total, all the way. With a cannon fire, let it go. Inhale again. Wow, deep. And hold tight and squeeze. Spell it out to every organ of the body, especially the brain where mess says. Let it go. Last time, don't miss this. Inhale deep. Deep, 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 deep. Hold tight. And now put the whole thing together and God shake it. The belly, the liver, and this and that. Organ to organ, spine to spine, whatever to whatever, toe to toe. Hair to hair. And let it go. See, we are fine, right? Relax a few minutes. Till I put you on the number two. Huh? Yeah. It is not that you have to exercise with a $3,000 machine and uh, go through all that. Total requirement of the body is nine minutes and two minutes are just specifying from abnormal to normal, and that's it. More than this, forget it. You know? Now this exercise is very unique, and it's a little difficult. 
because it is going to work out with your blocks, you know. And don't misunderstand, we are all block. Block is our nature. Uh, 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 uh. See, um, you want to look at my face. This is how people, they don't, they can't see it that time, there's no mirror. But with all the beauty and makeup and all thing and spending $250 getting looking good, their face looks like that. <laughs> how are you? <laughs> I'm glad to meet you. It's the phoniest communication on the planet. And then we feel that people rob of us our self-respect. Why not? You're not truthful. You're not deep enough. You're shallow. You're scared. You're afraid. And come. Come, come. Ha. Same old. Fast, fast, fast. Push, push, push the dirt out of you. Hit hard. Hard, hard, hard. Swim, swim, swim. Go. Push. You know, we play, children play in a pool. You know that exercise? That's it. With the, oh, 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 oh. Oh, should be all right. Rest is push, push. Push harder, harder. Whatever you get out in this push will go on. You will have no new sense around you. Harder, harder, push, push. Hair will grow, push. Push, push, push. Push all which is killing you, push. You know what they call those machines, lean, mean machine, make you good, this, that, and 200 million program, why do you do it and see for yourself what this does to you? Come on, it's all included. Push harder, 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 harder. With the O breath, O breath, they call it O breath. Harder, harder, flat, flat. Because this is where your stomach problems are, digestive problems are, colon, everything. It's right here, this zone. Push this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There's a minute more, hurry up. Hey, keep going. Inhale. Stop where you are. And beat wherever you are, whatever the posture is. Now go tense. Tense, tense, and shake your body. Get so tense. Watch. I'm going to do it for you. Shake the entire body. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. Out. Inhale again. Change the hands. Hold tight. And shake. Shake. Voluntarily shake. Shake. Tight and shake. Shake and tight. What do you got? Shake and bake? Shake. Shake and bake. Hurry up. Do it. Do it. Ah, do it. Do it. Do it. Out. One more time. Inhale deep. Change your hands. Take the strength. Remember your God. Pray to the angels. And now shake. Let it go. Relax, relax. It's fine. It was nice. Not bad, right? You know, if these do these exercises, you can have a hemorrhage. You can get attacked. Because you, what is the stress test? This is a stress test. Is it? You know, I went to India and I heard a doctor, Gujale, he said, you have passed stress test. I said, what do you mean? He said, if you can go 22 hours through this hell, what more test do we want? It's okay. Uh, we are being invited to go back in November, but let us see what we do. It is very pleasant there. 
We want to represent different India than you have heard. Third world country with flies all around and people who are bad, blah, 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 blah. No, no. It's a civilization which exists by its own grace, its own beauty. And there's nothing in the world like this. But those part normally people don't see. They run around. Okay, you're okay? Hmm? Now you're ready? Now this is, you have to do it for your pure heart. I have been a heart patient, folks, for five years. I've been to hospital. Tons of money has been spent. And they practically, in a royal way, butchered me and charged me for it, too. I'm a one sacrificial lamb which must have bought somebody a house, somebody a car, and some jewelry to somebody's wife. But I was still hurting. But let's do it tonight to get rid of that possibility in you. I have suffered. It's my bad luck. Let you have your good luck. See? Now look, there's an absolutely angle of the hand. Watch this. It has to be exactly that way. Because prana must pass. And it is this. <laughs> See, I'm dancing. Look, whole, whole thing is moving. Come on, come on, move, man. You should be about inch and a half above the ground with each move. Move, move, with balance. Don't close it, God, that will kill you. That will affect apples. Come on, get down to it. You Americans, come on, boys, girls. Good girls. What is it, guys and girls? For your sake, no, it doesn't matter to me. You already paid, who cares? And I'm gonna get a penny. It's a big deal. Come on, ha ha. Move, 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 move. Try it for your own strength. Is it that bad you can't do it another minute and a half? Woo. Try it with all mouth. And now inhale and pull your tongue out and squeeze. Squeeze the tongue out, break it like an iron and shake. Shake your whole body. Tongue out! Exhale. Inhale deep. Tongue out. Shake. Shake like an earthquake, which will come one day soon. <laughs> Let it go. Now, last chance. Don't cheat yourself. Inhale deep. Ooh Hold it tight. And tongue out. Make it hard. Out. And go! It means go means shake. Don't cheat. Relax. Well, you know. You're okay? Huh? You still need machines for exercise? That's the commercial gimmick to steal money from people in the name of health and future futuristics. These exercise folks are over 5,000 year old. I didn't make them up yesterday. Absolutely not. These are human experiments. And all these series I'm t t telling you, they are absolutely have a, a fact which no herb, no healing, and nothing can do. Takes five and four, nine minutes. Each exercise exactly three minutes each. With a minute or two break. 
Okay? Now, put that tape on, boy. And you have to do Pangra this way. You, you, you won't dance. Your hands will. From here to here, your hand will dance with the beat. You have brought a tape? You have a tape, eh? Put any tape you want. And with that beat, only your hand will dance. And with that, body may move, may not move. You have no problem. But only what we are concerned with the tattvas. One, two, three, four, five. This is, this is what we are going to move. Whatever the sound will be. Totally active, huh? Oh, come on. Great dude.
That is what I said. Hey, you give me 50 break, 20, 20, and 10. Well, another 20. Another 10. Okay. You stop twice. I, I rule the rule. Once we say match, then it's your salwar problem, not mine. <laughs> In future, see that you are on time as far as your salwar is concerned. <laughs> well, that was the class tonight, as it is. Take it out. As it is, and now we'll do meditation for the world peace, because Pluto and Mars are going under the Jupiter. It has never happened from the last 2,000 years. It's tonight. So, please, come with me and watch me. I'm going to lead it. You have to come with me. Energy. So energy. Go at a higher pitch. further higher pitch.
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Satnam. Now cookies will be served. And then you will go home. Uh, I'll be leaving Monday for... I never meant to go to England, but it so coincidentally happened that I'll be there a few days. And then I'll be going to Hamburg. Hamburger, whatever that is. And then I'll come back to Netherlands, Amsterdam, and uh, the city of the canals. And then we'll go to Paris, and then we'll go to Roma, and then we'll come back. Huh? Venice, Venice, Venice. Venezia, Venezia, Venezia. What do they call that? Venezia. Venezia. We don't even pronounce it right. Well, mm. I'll be here for a week or so, and I think they will announce about two classes which you should attend if you ever want to be with me. I'll be very tired, freaked out, and I'll fall in love with the Americans, and I'll do my best. Because when you go to Europe, you love them very much, but there's nothing much there. However, then we shall go to New Mexico, and then to what green isle what is that hills we go what pocono mountains yeah pocono mountains i've never heard of it huh. i like it after you live in new mexico you like the whole world Pocono Mountains, and then what we are going to do? Aspenola. Then summer sausage and all that. Etc., hmm? etc. Et and then what? Oh, ladies come. If you are a lady and want to be a lady, please come. Simple as that. What else? Teen camp. And this Saturday I'm going to go to some yoga center. It is in the valley somewhere. Where is it? Hey, it is you who got me out there. Ha ha. I've been. <laughs> Two o'clock Saturday afternoon. You have to miss a movie, but you won't regret it. Come, we'll have fun. Mm -hmm. You're driving me anyway. Oh. And she's going to be that day resting. Huh? <laughs> it won't work that day, I can tell you right today. <laughs> Don't be mistaken, I know. <laughs> Cookies were good. Heavy duty cookies. Mm. You know, in Delhi, they are making cookies in families now. Modernization. They make cookies and they put tulsi in it. Tulsi and alsi both. 
Tulsi and Alsi. Alsi is a seed, what you call it. Uh, what do we call them? No, no, no. We have an oil of it here. Everybody uses it. No small. Sesame. Yeah, they use sesame. It's called Alsi, Tulsi, Alsi. And uh, they make a cookie of it. Well, if you ever go to India, somebody offer you, be careful. It means no harm, but you cannot sleep about three, four days. It's the most energetic. <laughs> you know, they, 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 they brought, I told them, take the packet. And they wanted to offer all of us. I said, no. You can eat it, it's very good, it's fine. They I put raisin in it, blah, blah, blah. When you finish it and take a glass of water, and maybe a couple hours later, you go like this. No, no, it's very excitingly relaxing, stimulating. <coughs> but when you are traveling, then it's a pressure on the body, you know what I mean? Already we are moving. Tulsi is called holy basil. Alsi is a family of this, uh, what do you call them, sesame. It's a family, it's not actually sesame seed. Yeah, sesame is a tail, but Alsi, Alsi is a little bitter. It is so purifying and it's so changing. Uh, this is what I'm going to come back and I'm going to talk to you and make you understand. As the body grows, the secretion from the glands decreases. Glands are the guardian of the health, and so the health decreases. So the vitality decreases. So you decrease. Somehow, hey, you pick it up. Don't be ashamed. It won't hurt. Uh, so far, uh, if you somehow, that's what I'm going to teach those two days, if somehow, I'm going to give you experiment, you can totally balance. Later on, we are going to do this exercise and check the blood before, check the blood after, and see we are right. We can't be wrong anyway, because these things have been experimented for thousands of years by the humanity. And now you say the medical tests are there. At that time, there was never a medical test. You can tie a thread on the, still daily, that Greek system exists. They tie a thread at the wrist of the female. And this man puts it here, and he describes the medicine. Mm -hmm. And there's a, about 10 or 11 feet distance. They still exist. It's not something I'm making it up. Go ahead. That's how powerful they were. Uh, my old friend came to pay me respect, and I was very tired at that time. And he said, your sugar is low. I said, wait a minute. I'm a diabetic. My sugar is always high. <laughs> Today is damn low. And I thought my sugar is high. It was low. There was a little sweet there, I ate it, I became normal. I said, how you saw it? He said, well, I think of you had a sugar about 60 or something. He was so exact that as he is the machine. These people have, from the color of the skin, they can read you like as any test in the body can be read. Hmm? Yeah, it's called Nadi method. And, yeah, it is a very old system. And um, we were likely to get that group, we couldn't, that uh, they have a sword, just like this, this thick and this long only. And they use it in a hand, both hands. We had a wonderful show there, 
at House Cars, which was very unique. But with these two swords, the man defends himself, and if you shoot him a revolver, he gets it on the sword. That fast they are. But unfortunately, our stay was just six days, and we couldn't prolong it. And it was a fun. Now go home, and tomorrow morning, if you care for yourself, take little yogurt, maybe quarter cup maximum. And if that you are not abnormal, put little salt, sodium. What do they call it? Sodium what? Chloride. Yeah, sodium chloride, and put water and blend very thin. Yogurt with minimum. It's called lassi. And tomorrow morning, drink as the first thing. And what whole day will come out of you will be your grace. All out. Uh, little yogurt, about but four spoon, tablespoon. We have to tell you by measurement. Not too much yogurt. And water, about 12 ounces. And salt, sea salt. Reasonable. I'm not saying too much, I'm not saying too low. It should be a salt, just let's see. And just drink it. And see the flood. Watch it. It will do two things. Either it will flood you out, or it will squeeze you in. If there's a water imbalance, you won't go to urinate much. And that will balance out. It will be a great help. But if you have excess, whoosh, it affects the liver. If you, in your life, take this lassi, glass of this lassi, every early morning, first drink, you will never have a blood trouble, liver trouble, uh, what they call this thing, adrenal trouble. You will never have this, if you're a male, prostate trouble. There are about five, six troubles, which you won't get. But first drink in the morning, and it has to be very little protein. Yogurt is a protein, mind you. It's about four spoons. And little salt, very reasonable, and blend it with the water. And don't use LA tap water. <laughs> it's not good these days. Till that the CN doesn't come. <laughs> water is. A, I'm say I go to Beverly and I have a place. There's not anybody outside. <laughs> People are so scared. Can you believe how this psyche has affected all Los Angeles? <coughs> Everybody say, where are you going? Oh, well, we should avoid it. <laughs> Shops are empty. There's hardly anybody there. It's amazing. A whole LA is hostage to juries to see him. And did you watch the television? How much army prayer they are showing you? I think they have made a tape of it. They're not doing it actually, are they? <laughs> and they're showing it every day the same thing. It's amazing. They're scaring everybody away from L.A. Do you know 90% tourists who were booked to come to L.A. have cancelled? You know how many millions of dollars per day Los Angeles is losing? You can't believe it. Ask the hoteliers how much vacancies have gone. It's amazing. And it may end up with a hung jury, then what? Retrial? <laughs> who knows? <clears throat> Funny. Uh, United States of America has a beautiful justice. If you know how to fight it, keep on prolonging it. One party will run out of money and they'll let you go. That's the only way to get justice. Why to go before a jury? Start sending brief back and forth and start objecting. It's the funniest way to 
win a case. I am a prosecutor for 18 years, never lost a case. And the theory is, keep on asking questions. Keep on till the other person tired and say, I give up. <laughs> and then do whatever you want. It's a dead duck. But those people get, in a lawsuit, if you get nervous, and you get tired, and you want to see him, you have already lost the case. Never ask for a decision. Keep on going. Keep on going. Send this thick brief. You will get this much thin. Send another this thick. $250 an hour. Somebody is getting rich. Somebody is getting poor. Nobody will like litigation. That's the best lesson to teach. You know how much this trial has cost the taxpayer? Unbelievable. And the man who videotaped this thing, how much royalty is getting? <laughs> you can't believe it. Anytime they show it, they have to pay him. Good night. See you sometime. <laughs> now they are relaxed, they can go home. I want to do a